Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I just wanted to share with you a new collection that I got from Cut at Home, and it's the Spellbinder Celebrations line, and I'm going to be making a card using some of these products today. There are several um, things put out by Richard Gray from Spellbinders, and he put out along with Spellbinders, some stamps, some matching paper. They also have pattern paper that I don't have and several stamps. So I just kind of want to show you some of the stuff here. These are beautiful stamps and there are 13 stamps available. I have several more that I will be that I placed an order for that I'll be getting in next month. But I just kind of wanted to show you how beautiful these stamps are. And I did actually stamp them out so you can see them a little bit better. So they don't, they don't look like the color of the pad. For example, this one is cotton candy. And I stamped them on the back and that's what it looks like. So you can see how beautiful this color is. They're a very soft pastel color. And um, I did a little sample sheet so you could see it a little bit better. So the first one here is Cotton Candy, and then we have Sea Spray, Captivating Coral, which is probably my favorite so far, but this looks very red, so you, you just have to go by the um, On Cut at Home's website. They have a little indication of the color, and it's very true to color, so you'll be able to choose that way. This one is Lovely Lavender. It almost looks black. Then here is Pixie Play. That's a really pretty fun color. And then Cool Carabean. Audacious Orange. Totally Tangerine. I love this color as well. And I love this yellow. This one is Delightful Daisy. And this pad looks gold compared to what it really is. So as you can see, these are some absolutely beautiful colors. I will list all of these colors that I'm showing, even though I won't be using all of these. I'll list them on Cut at Home's blog so you can find a link on where to find these. Let me set these aside. And this is what I will be using to make today's card. It is brush strokes, also from the Celebrations line. And as you can see, it has three different stamps in here. So I'm excited to play with this. I haven't played with this yet. And same here, I have not used the paper yet, but this is the 12 by 12 assorted solids. Sorry about the glare. And um, they also have a pattern paper there um, that I will be ordering in the future. But let me pull these out. So as you can see, these colors match their stamp sets. Um, beautifully and it's very thick paper. It's a very beautiful paper. It reminds me of the basil paper. So they have a huge selection to choose from. So let me put all this up and we'll get started on today's card. So I have a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of white smooth cardstock and this is a heavyweight cardstock. I will be using this as my base and I wanna cut a standard A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to first cut this at five and a half, and then this gives you two pieces for card bases. I'm gonna set one aside for right now. And now I need to score my card base. I'm putting it in the eight and a half inch side, and I'm grabbing my stylus from the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit. 
it has a perfect stylus for me to give me a good crease. So I need to score this at four and a quarter. And I'll do it several times since this is heavyweight cardstock. And when you score a piece of cardstock, on, I scored it this way. Okay, so on the back side of it, you will see a bump. You want to fold into that bump, and that will help reduce creasing on your card. And then just use your bone folder to give yourself a nice crease. I am going to be using a mat from that cardstock that I showed you, the Spellbinders cardstock, but I'm not sure I'm going to wait on the mat because I want to wait and decide on the color later. But I do want another mat for the front of my card. This is from the same cardstock and it is five by three and three quarters. And this is where we'll be doing our stamping on. So I'm going to set aside my card base for right now. I'm using a stamp pad along with the Fisker stamp press and my stamp here from Spellbinders. And I sort of have an idea in my mind of what I want to do. I haven't tried this out yet, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to kind of set this on my mat to see if I'm going to like the way it looks. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this. So I think I I will, instead of picking them up, I will only stamp one at a time. The three colors that I chose is the Captivating Coral, Cool Caribbean, and Pixie Play. And you can see the colors better on the back here. So I think I'll start with the Captivating Coral. I want to make sure that it's inked up very, very well. And I'm also grabbing a baby wipe. I love that. That is so pretty. So I will move on to stamp my next two stamps. I have never stamped this particular one, so I'm stamping it off on a scrap piece of paper first, just to make sure there's no residue on the stamp itself. And it usually will give you a better impression. So I'm just going to quickly stamp it off before putting it directly on my project.
love how these turned out and I love these colors together. I think this has a little bit too much white border as opposed to this side, so I'm just gonna trim it down just slightly. Perfect. And now I was going to stamp a sentiment on the front, however, I don't have one that I'm happy with. So I'm actually gonna run this through my printer and I will show you how I do that here in just a moment. So here's the sentiment that I wanna use. I, use, I just printed this on some copy weight paper off my printer. And what I'm going to do is place this over the top, hold it up to a light or a window and I'll be able to see through this piece of paper. And I'm going to use some scotch tape that I stuck onto my clothes to get a little bit of the stickiness off. You can put it on your hand, whatever you want to do. You just want to get a little bit of the stickiness off. That way it doesn't stick to your paper so much. So I've just barely taped it down to the top and bottom and now I'm going to rerun it back through my printer and print it the same way I did the first time. And here is what it looks like when it comes out of the printer. So now I got a really cute font that I did not have a stamp for. And you just want to really slowly and carefully pull off your tape just so it doesn't rip your project. So now I want to choose a color I love how they all coordinate. I think I'm actually going to use the lighter blue. So this is the mat that's going behind this stamped image. So I'm going to cut this to five and a quarter by four. I'm going to use some angel craft tape in the one quarter inch to adhere down this layer. And as you can see, this has a more textured side to it. I hope that'll pick up on camera. And a smoother side to it. So I'm going to have the textured side up. And on this layer, I'm going to pop it up. I'll be using some foam tape. And now I will just add a few enamel dots. So as you can see, this was a really quick, really easy card to put together. And when you have everything that coordinates the paper, the stamps, 
and the inks. It really makes everything easy. So here are all the cards that I did. And all of these were using sentiments printed from my computer. This one says thanks for everything and I added a little heart punch using the same coordinating paper. This one here is an Allie Edwards digital stamp that I got from her website and it says so much love for you and I added another little heart. And this one here is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter note card and it says celebrate it's your birthday. I added a little bit of baker's twine and a few enamel dots. So as you can see these are really quick to make. All of these I spent less than an hour making and they were so much fun and it's great to just have in your stash for when you need a quick card. If you have any questions please leave me a comment and check out Cut at Home's blog. I will list all the products that I showed in today's video. Thanks for watching.